So what we know is that when we have an immune response from an infection, it's a little different than an immune response from a vaccine. Uh, it, we know that people that have had COVID, they probably have some protection that is at least short lasting for three to six months, but it does not have the, the durability um, or at least right now, we don't necessarily think it has the durability of the vaccine. The vaccine should have substantial protection for a long time. And I would add, you know, I hear people say COVID is, you know, it's like the flu and maybe I, that doesn't seem that dangerous to me. So it's okay to avoid it, not have a vaccine. And, and I, yeah, I think there are a couple big differences between the flu and COVID that, um, you know, one is that um, a lot of people will have a milder COVID illness, but every decade of life, 20s, 30s, 40s, we have people who have severe COVID and they end up in the hospital. And we, we have people who pass away in all those decades. And that's and much more than the flu. Um, and even in the past month or two, as the rates of vaccines have risen, what we're seeing is folks are coming into the hospital at a younger age than they were six months ago. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, a, it's a signal to us that um, being younger doesn't mean you're, you're just able to wear this without any difficulties. The other point I'd like to remind folks is in our community, 40% of persons in our community have at least one of the chronic diseases that brings some risk for COVID, mm -hmm. whether that's um, high blood pressure or asthma or diabetes or obesity. Um, these are really common chronic conditions. And so the, um, the risks are out there and, and to think of it as it's like a flu and I'll, it'll, it'll just have it and then I'll be beyond it and that's that um, is. Uh, the risks are much greater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Also, some people that are healthy we know are having the long COVID mm -hmm. or long haulers kind of syndromes or symptoms that are lasting for, for weeks to months. And this is something that we know vaccine can provide more long lasting uh, prevention against COVID uh, and prevent you from potentially you know, having one of those syndromes that can, that can be quite devastating for somebody that's previously healthy. And that long hauler syndrome, are you seeing that amongst all age groups? Um, in, in mostly, the, uh, all age groups, I guess the exception is it's not as much of a pediatric illness. So we're not seeing some long substantial symptoms in pediatric patients that we're aware of. Mm -hmm. um, there are some, some severe syndromes in pediatric patients that, that it is a minority of them. Uh, it, it is, it's all a signal that we, we need to think about the vaccine as far as all age groups protecting each other, protecting mm -hmm. the community, as we don't know, um, you could have some long-lasting symptoms related to it. Mm -hmm.